Alright guys, welcome back. Wow, last time was absolutely, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. One other thing I changed in my house is I set up, you're going to be a dick, aren't you? Nope. What about you? Probably. But I had to change where I kept all my ants because I had the uh, Kraken repellents outside my house but they well there's your problem but they updated it to where it's Kraken ant and termite repellent more Mr. Rainbows we'll go this way Obsidian so yeah they were freaking out like crazy uh, lucky block book again lots of fish lucky sword Droppers or dispensers, couldn't tell which. You douche! I'm trying to make a video here. More wool. Okay, so that's the sign that we need to start putting back. And start throwing away all the crap we don't need, like all this wooden stuff. It's nice that we got the lucky sword and shovel. <sighs> don't need that. Don't need that. So that in there, throw that in there, throw that in there. Really? We didn't have cyan wool last time? Did we really not? Droppers. Alright. Um. So apparently we didn't get some of these wool colors last time. So that's cool, I guess. Throw that in there, throw that in there, throw that in there. I would say we have enough to make an end portal now, guys. This is epic. I will definitely get on that next time. What? Oh crap, no, not this again. Not gonna get me. I'm too ninja. A sponge. Rot flesh. Ender chest. Oh snap, that scared me. Hello, block of emerald. Hello, hay. More quartz stuff. Oh, this is good. Let's see if there's anything down here. Last time we went through a dungeon. Nope. Nothing down here this time. Nothing at all. That would be a scary one to get if I didn't have Superman. More books and stuff. More droppers. Ah, this again. Alright. Let's move this way slightly then. We should be safe. We've had some pretty good luck. Chest. Wooden stuff in it. More books and stuff. Another chest. Eh. Only five left, guys. Ooh, more more ingots and stuff. Levels. Experience. Pet armors. Ooh, we got a lucky pig. Which actually doesn't have anything special about it. I got this again. Alright, so let's... That was definitely interesting, guys. That was a lot of flun. Flun. That was a lot of flun. I'm glad we did that. That was... I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that a lot. It's always fun to do stuff like this. Take a break from all the craziness and just have a little fun sometimes because this is a really is just a lot of craziness most of the time and so a lot of the times we don't get to have too much fun because you know we're focused on advancing in the series and whatnot so seven's taken up so let's just throw the rest in here Alright, got lots of redstone stuff. I need to make a uh, redstone chest. Don't want those books. Alright. Didn't I already have some TNT? I believe I did. Did I not? Oh, I did. I thought so. Give me that. Alright, guys. Now on to the stuff that we actually need to go to the other world for. 
So my house is that way. That's a long way away. So we're just going to teleport over there. Alright, awesome. So let's get out of here. And we're going to have some fun. Not really. This is actually going to possibly kill us. Come on. Come on. Thank you. So we're going to go home. And this is where the fun begins. As you guys can tell, yeah, I have creeper repellent set up. That's where all my ants and stuff are going to be. Girlfriends here, here. As you can tell, most of them have a tiger's eye set, which is fully enchanted. Like, to the best of my abilities. They also have an ultimate sword. So we're going to go over here as per our usual. And dick. Alright, so we're going to move some of these backpacks up. Because we're not going to need them. Actually going to change my am guide. No. No, we should be fine. Actually, I need that one. As you guys can tell, we have spawn eggs. Lots and lots and lots of spawn eggs. Absolutely tons of them. So now we're going to throw that up there. Throw that up there. This is basically just going to be all the bosses, pretty much. So let's start out with Mothra. As you can tell, Mothra has 150 health. It's not really even a match for my girlfriends. Lots of stuff drops. Lots of pretty butterflies everywhere. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Make sure we get all the experience. Alright, did we get everything? Almost. I'm not going to worry about like every little thing. Just gonna kind of sweep the area, make sure I don't run over anything. All right, that seems to be about it. So next Mothra, I'm actually gonna try to kill this one. Nope, just kidding. I'll probably have to kill one in my off time. I still have one or no, I think I still have like six Mothra spawn eggs left in my house. I only grabbed a few because, you know, this is just kind of showcasing some of the bosses. See, I got lots of good stuff here. Alright. Seems to be most of it. So let's put that up there. I already fought some QBs. So we'll, we'll save those for another day. Uh, let's just do this. Alright, next up we got some WTFs. Which shouldn't even be a problem for my girlfriends this time. I'm just gonna let them do the work for the most part. I'll fire off at a few of them. As you can tell, not even all my girlfriends are fighting. They don't even see these guys as threats. I mean, my girlfriends, tiger's eye set. Oh my gosh, I'm tiny. Anyways, Tiger's Eye Set, Ultimate Sword, I mean, these things don't even have a chance against my girlfriends anymore. Fire at it from afar. Die. Switch back to me. What am I? A moth? I haven't killed a moth yet, really. I find that hard to believe. I don't even think my girlfriends are attacking these. Doesn't even seem like it. Alright, they're all dead. We're gonna change it to dawn. That way no other mobs spawn. We don't want anyone interfering. Now we're going to find Emperor Scorpion. So as you can tell, this guy, probably not much of a chance either. Considering, you know, I did 180 damage there. My girls take care of... Oh, and he's dead. He has gone down. My girls take care taking care of the little scorpions. I was able to just 
shut him down. I don't know why we are blind, but it is very annoying. I'm actually going to get a backpack. Oops. Use the back backpack being my ninth slot. We got two nether stars. Probably for Mothra, so that's good. I've been needing more of those. Alright. I don't need that obsidian. Oops. Alright, let's drop down. Ah, okay. Got what we needed, which was his scale or whatever. So now we're going to fight some mantis. To make this a little more interesting, we're just going to spawn them all at once. As you can tell, doesn't even matter anymore. I mean, my girls are just wrecking everything. Collect all this stuff. Mainly care about, like, the diamonds and whatnot. We're going to turn this on. You know, stand over here in the middle. Toss what we don't need, which is all these mantis claws. We don't need any of these mantis claws. Got so many of them as it is. Seems like we got everything except that little bit of experience. Wish magnet mode affected experience. We're going to run this way a little bit. Nothing. This way a little bit. Alright. Turn magnet mode off. Alright. Now we are going to fight the Cephedrome. Now as you guys know this guy is not um, hostile to begin with. We are actually going to eat some bacon. See if I can't take him out in one hit. Oh my god, the Cephedrome goes down in one hit, guys. Nothing stands a chance. I am so sorry, Cephedromes. I actually feel bad about that one. Alright, next up is the Leonoptrix. Oh my gosh, he's naturally hostile. Still doesn't stand a chance. These guys are new to the mod and are tameable. They are from the Avatar movie, the James Cameron one, not the last Airbender one. Alright, next up we have Molinoids, which throws dirt everywhere. Get back here, you some bitch. Girls, girls, let me let me get a hit off. And he's dead. I have killed the Molinoid. Molinoid is new as well, and he is actually one of the mobs that you must kill in order to make Big Bertha. You need his nose. Before, you know, you didn't need that much stuff to make Big Bertha. Like I said, they've changed it. You now have to make the hilt, the blade, the guard. We're gonna move. We're gonna stay over here for this for this other Molinoid. Oh my gosh, that was painful. That one's done too. Alright, we got the noses. So let's move more this way. Alright, let's clear up some inventory space. Don't need that ruby shovel. I'll keep one of them. Other than that, don't need them both. Don't need these uranium layers. We got his, yep, it's his scale. Don't need those frames. Don't need these nuggets. Alright. Next up, we will summon and kill the Katakilla. Which will be fun. Don't need that. I can throw that in there. Nightmares, Ender Dragons, and the Triffid. We also need the Sea Monster, which we've ar I've already killed. Which you guys have not seen me kill. So we're going to get the Triffid right now. I'm going to eat some bacon. Because this thing you can only hit when it opens up. So now it is a waiting game. Come on, Triffid. Come on. Probably the most annoying mob to fight because you have to wait. So. Oh my gosh. I don't know how long this is going to take, guys. Come on, Triffid. 
One of them's throwing shoes at it. That's not gonna do much. <sighs> oh, oh, oh! I thought it opened. I thought it had opened, guys. Now open for me. The trivet is just not opening, guys. Stand from afar. May have to do this with the bow. Don't do it, girlfriend. I can't really tell when it's open and when it's not. Ah, come on, Triffid. Come on. I need you to die. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to him. I don't have time for this. For now, let's move on to the nightmares. We're going to spawn in all three at once to make this a little bit more of a challenge. Me and my girlfriends can handle this, of course. Hitting them is the only problem because they move around so much. Oh, crap. They're back here. Give me my bow back. So I'm just gonna spam this in their general direction. I think one of them is already dead. Wow, that hurt. There went another one. Find the girl with the bow. All right, there we go. Got it. I think someone hit it. That's what matters. Where did this other one die at? It doesn't really matter if I find it or not. Simply because I've already got its stuff from the unstable dimension and the fact we just killed two others. But it would be nice to have it. Is this its stuff over here? Nope. Whereas I have no idea where that other one died. So we're just going to forget about that. Next up is the Jumpy Bug. Which we are going to demolish. Wow. I didn't think it would have, was going to be that bad. But apparently it was. Jumpy Bug, get back here. You versus me. Who jumps better? I do. Look at my jump. Look at my jump. I jump so far. Holy crap, he knocked me away. Oh my god, did our Triffid despawn? Oh no! They both despawned. Wow, it's a good thing I found more Triffids. So guys, the only one that we're not going to see is the Triffid because that's going to take a while. Next up is the Catechilla. Get back here. And it is Ed. And we are huge. And I don't want to be that huge. You have a hat. You have the dollar catch. You may live. The only reason it may live is because I've already gotten that hat so many times. Okay, where are your jaws, Catechiller? I was only able to find one spawn egg for it, so I have to find the jaws. Like, I. Please don't lag me out. I looked around for hours in the jungle and the forest looking for a catechiller off screen, guys. And was never able to find one. Oh, we have its jaws. Awesome. Alright, next up is the Ender Dragon. We're going to go over here to fight him. Let's go up here. Alright, this seems like a good place to fight him. 
Go to change it to none. And now, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Ender Dragon. Oh my god, one hit as well. Make it rain experience, baby. Make it rain experience. Where's the portal, though? Okay, buddy, that wasn't supposed to happen. He was supposed to... Like, his portal's supposed to be here as well, since we killed him. Like, it's supposed to be here. He didn't drop Dragon Essence, he didn't... Wow, he didn't do anything. Okay, that was weird. We barely got any experience from him either. We didn't get his morph. What is with that? Only thing we really got from him was a heart container, which we don't even need. Well, guys, on that sad note, I think I'm going to end this video here. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone.